Upscaling is a term you've probably come across when talking about tech, like TVs, videos, or even AI. Basically, it's all about improving the quality of something, making it look better, often by enlarging or enhancing it. While it's mainly a tech and digital media thing, it's highly used in gaming. Let's break it down and see what it's all about, how it works, and where you might find it. Basics of Upscaling Upscaling is the process of improving a low-resolution image or video, so it looks better on higher-resolution screens, like 4K or 8K. It makes the image appear sharper and smoother, which is especially important in gaming. Gamers often need this because gaming systems have to balance performance and quality to keep the game running smoothly. In simple terms, upscaling takes lower-resolution content and adjusts it to fit on bigger, higher-quality screens without making it look too bad. This way, gamers can enjoy games designed for high resolutions without needing the most expensive equipment. How does it work? Upscaling isn't magic, although it might feel like it sometimes. It works by looking at the pixels in a low-resolution image and guessing how higher-resolution pixels should appear. Special algorithms help fill in the missing pixels, improving the image's clarity and smoothness. There are different ways to upscale, from older methods to newer ones powered by artificial intelligence. For example, when a game runs in 1080p but is shown on a 4K screen, upscaling makes the 1080p image fit the 4K screen. It does this by stretching the pixels and replacing each one with more pixels. The goal is to keep the image looking clear without becoming too blurry or pixelated. Methods of upscaling in gaming There are a few main ways to make game visuals look better, with some being more advanced than others. Firstly, basic upscaling, bilinear and trilinear filtering. These are the simplest methods. They work by averaging nearby pixels to create new ones. Bilinear filtering averages 4 pixels, while trilinear filtering does something similar but looks at different texture levels. They're fast but don't provide the sharpest images, often making them look a bit blurry. They're good for situations where speed matters more than perfect image quality. Next is anisotropic filtering. This method is used to improve textures in games with complex environments, especially when textures are seen at an angle. It samples pixels from multiple directions to enhance clarity and reduce blurriness. It's particularly useful for open-world games or those with intricate designs. After that AI and machine learning upscaling, this newer technology uses artificial intelligence to predict and create high-quality images from low-resolution ones. For example, NVIDIA's DLSS and AMD's Fidelity FX. Super Resolution use AI to improve visuals while keeping the game running smoothly. DLSS leverages artificial intelligence to upscale lower resolution images in real time, delivering higher quality graphics with minimal performance loss. It uses machine learning to predict the best upscaled image from lower frames, offering smoother gameplay while preserving detail. AMD's FSR, a similar technique, uses spatial upscaling combined with AI to boost frame rates and improve image quality without demanding as much computational power. Both technologies enable gamers to enjoy better visuals and performance across supported games, optimizing the overall experience. These methods allow games to look great, even if they're running at a lower resolution and improve performance. Lastly, checkerboard rendering. It is used mainly in consoles like the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. This method renders a lower resolution image in a checkerboard pattern. Only half the pixels are shown directly and the rest are estimated, making it look like a higher resolution without putting too much strain on the hardware. It's a good compromise for consoles with limited power. Advantages and Limitations Upscaling in gaming helps improve graphics without requiring expensive hardware. For gamers with mid-range or budget graphics cards, technologies like DLSS or FSR let them enjoy great visuals while keeping the game smooth and running at higher frame rates. 
It also allows game developers to create beautiful graphics without having to render everything in 4K or higher resolutions. This saves system resources and makes it possible to have more detailed game worlds, better textures, and faster load times. Additionally, upscaling enables older games to look more modern and visually appealing. Many classic titles may have originally been designed for lower resolution displays, but with upscaling, these games can be played with enhanced graphics, offering a fresh experience without requiring a complete remake. Upscaling also makes gaming more accessible by providing high-quality visuals for users who may not have the latest gaming consoles or powerful PCs. It effectively balances performance and visual fidelity, improving the overall gaming experience, allowing more players to enjoy stunning graphics and smooth gameplay even with less advanced hardware. Though upscaling in gaming helps make graphics look better on lower resolution screens, it has its limits. It can only improve the picture so much because it's basically guessing details from a lower quality image, which can cause blurriness or weird visual effects. It doesn't offer the same level of detail as true high resolution graphics, especially in fast moving scenes. Upscaling also uses a lot of processing power, which can slow down performance. While it can make older games look nicer, it can't fix poor textures or other issues from the original game. To sum it up, upscaling is one of the innovative tech in the modern era. As technology keeps advancing, we can expect the limitations will be lessened and high-quality visuals will be more accessible. So let's embrace this innovation and use the most of it for an immense gaming experience. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe for more updates.